All right, people, if you can't tell, I'm really excited. I barely got any sleep last night. Not that I went to bed late. I actually prepared, did everything I was supposed to do, had all my fishing gear ready to go, and tried to go to bed early, and I could not go to sleep because I was too excited about this fishing tournament today. Today, this tournament, I mean, is called River Wars, and um, you get to pick where you want to fish within a certain area, but it has to be like a river or moving water. I'm really excited about the place I'm fishing today. The sun's gonna come up in about 30 minutes, and uh, I'll be probably on the water right before the sun's up. And um, I'll probably be fishing the area to myself, hopefully. And there may be a couple other people come through, probably not in the tournament I'm in. Luck, and this is a close place to my house, a place I'm familiar with, and a place I did really good fishing a couple days ago. So I know the fish are in here, potential's here. It's gonna be fun. I'm prepared for it. I got everything ready. So I'm gonna unload and get out on the water. All right, this is it. Here we go. Again, I've spent about seven hours out here. I never spent this much time at this place. I'm so confident that I'm gonna have to catch something. I hope so, but I'm trying not to be too. Uh, I gotta be calm. At any time, there could there's like really good fish could hit, or it could get tough because the water's low. I don't know, but I, I know if I just stick to it, I'm gonna catch some good fish. Hit it twice. Oh, that's gonna be a keeper. All right, fish number one, he's barely too short, but uh, I think it's gonna be on today. Yeah. There's turtles and gar. Now ducks all over the place. Let's go up the river a little bit. All right, what are y'all doing, ducks? That's gonna be a keeper. Keeper number one, 12 and three quarters. Caught two fish already, both were largemouth. Usually I'm gonna catch spots here, so. I don't know if that's good or not, but you can see the water is dropping. It, it dropped overnight and it'll stay low pretty much all day. Then by the time I'm leaving, it'll start rising again. So I feel like a bite could change at any time, but I've already caught two this early. So that's, that's a good sign. Green sunfish. We gotta throw in some other fish here and there. I wasn't even trying to hook him, he got himself hooked. Oh wow. Oh, that was a little girl. Who smoked that thing? Huh. Little spot. I'm just rotating through my three lures. Went back to the top water. Give me a spot, little guy. Go ahead. Come on. It's a really cloudy day. I, I kind of wish the sun could come out. I always like it when it gets the sun gets out. I feel like the fish, uh, especially in rivers, get a little more active. But they're active right now. I've already, that's a what third fish I've already caught today. There's all these. There's like a string of bluegill right here eating something off the top. There's gotta be some bass hanging around. But right up there, right on that wall, somewhere right around there is where I caught, um, two days ago, I caught a big old spotted bass. And they may not be there now, but I'll be 
I definitely will probably make a couple trips down through here. All right, there's another one. And we're getting up and I think we're upsizing a little bit. Oh, I barely got the picture in time right before he flopped off. Uh, all right, well, he was 13 inches. The two keepers are, are still small, but I still got plenty of time. I need, I need like 16, 17, 18s. You know, like at least three of them. It's a three fish limit. So I think we're, I think we're going to get them at some point. I'm still working my way up. I haven't even got to the sweet spot yet. <laughs> that was a little guy. He came off. All right. We're getting into a little bit better zone. I don't think this is the sweet, sweet spot, but it's definitely got possibilities of a big fish. Yeah. I don't know how big he is, but he absolutely smoked that thing. Oh, he's a good one. He's a good one. That's what we're looking for. He smoked that. Where's it? Where's it? Yes, sir. Let's get it going. Man, did I call that or what? I knew we were getting right into that area. Let's anchor here real quick. Since I got this anchor, I was about to use it. Sixteen and a quarter inch. That's what we're going for. All right. Let's just get you know a few more of these and take the pressure off. I'm gonna go ahead and upload that one because that's that's one. I, hopefully that's my smallest one today. That would be nice. Let's go ahead and get him on the board. Oh my goodness. Same exact spot almost. <laughs> Dude. There's, oh my, it's a good fish. There's two of them down there. Same exact spot almost. A good fish. Oh, I thought the other one might have grabbed it too. Good. Don't come off. Don't come off. I think he's hooked by the back hook. Yeah. Holy cow. That was like, dude, I just, that was like two casts later. Holy cow. Man. They want that top water right off those rocks right there. All right. Is he going to be longer or what? That's <laughs> such another, just another solid spotted bass. Man, he is pretty close to that other one. If he's the same length, they might think I took a picture of the same fish. Dude, 16 and a half. Right after that, 16 and a quarter. <laughs> oh, man. All right, those two are definitely good keepers. I still think, I'm, I still think there's bigger ones. Well, I know there's bigger ones. I still think there's bigger ones that I'm going to catch.
There's a good one. There's a good one. There's a good one. He's taking off. It's a big fish. It's a big fish. He is taking off. There's another big one behind it. Is this? It may be this. It may be the pair that I caught one of them out of. So this feels bigger. Dude, I'm glad I didn't leave this wall yet. This could be my third keeper, and this could be the three biggest fish of the day for me. There's a there's a big one behind this one. Oh my goodness. Dude, this, this couldn't have gone any better. That's crazy. I'm gonna go back over here. <laughs> We're gonna get him on the board. This is a good fish. This is why I couldn't sleep last night. I knew these fish were here. Look at that. Dude, that's over a three pound spotted bass. Dude, I just got a solid limit. Three fish from the same rock bluff within 20 yards. And there's gotta be more down in there. So we're gonna go through again with Yumdinger. We're still gonna work our way upstream unless we just keep on catching fish here. That's a good fish. Man, that rock bluff is giving me some good fish. I think we can get another one out of there. Look at these little rock walls. We're gonna go up here and hit these walls. I'm trying to get the stuff to load but the service is terrible here. So um, I'll check every once in a while, but at the end, when I leave, I'll be able to upload it when I get back into service. I got the photos and the pictures saved on the phone, so. Uh oh. Oh, he's swimming off of it. I wanted to try a different yum dinger. Oh, no, you threw it off. I got a morning dawn one on there. Got a fish pretty quick off of it. Please, little guys. Oh, there's one. Dude, these fish are uh, like, I know they kind of travel in schools, but they are really schooled up. Like they're paired up. Every time I've caught one, there's been other fish with it almost. But they're usually like the similar size. So this one had similar, several that were behind it, about the same size. Goodness. That's a solid one right there. Oh, it may be an upgrade. He smoked that spinner bait. Goodness. Oh, he's gonna be close. He's gonna be close to an upgrade. I'm in the faster current section right here where the uh, river's a little narrower, so really need that anchor gun to come in really handy right here. I don't even know if this guy's gonna be an upgrade. He's a good fish. What's my smallest? 16 and a quarter. <laughs> he's a chunky guy. I don't think he's gonna be 16. <laughs> he's 15 inches. That's crazy. I'm already throwing back a 15 incher. It just doesn't seem right. You know the day's been good when it's nine o'clock and you're throwing back a 15 inch bass. Maybe I should try a chatterbait first. Or a buzzbait. Dude, I'm trying a buzzbait first before I switch this other one. I want to see if they hit it. These fish have been hitting really aggressively. Oh, 
Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. They're just on fire. Oh, this is a good one. This is a good one. I said that before. Uh oh, loosen my drag. This is a good one. Oh, this is a big fish. Oh my. Yes. Upgrade for sure. Oh, I'm on. on a buzz bait. All right, we gotta get over here and anchor off again. Dude, they are just on these rocks, ready to hammer something. I thought they'd be a lot less aggressive with the water low, and they're probably waiting for it to raise, or, but no, it's got a steady flow, and it's not all the way down, but it's, it's definitely lower than normal, or lower than the high volume, and they're just hammering stuff. What a day at the office, right? This is getting too much. I can't handle all this. I've had so many tournaments and stuff where I'm just trying to get 14 inches. Oh. Yeah, I'll be throwing that a little bit more. I like that big hook on it too, where when you hook some, you know, it's got one big hook instead of like the choppo is working too. Everything's worked. I think, I mean, everything's been working today, but that right there got my biggest one pretty quick. So I don't know if it was an area or what. Now that is a spot. Oh my goodness. His, uh, ah, the teeth or whatever they're called right here. It's, that's some tough sandpaper right there. Yep, he has tooth patch. He might be a hybrid. I'm not sure, but he is definitely a spotted bass. Maybe mixed with something. Dude, we just caught a 20 inch. 20 inch spotted bass. I'm not gonna take the time to weigh them. I've been catching some good ones recently and I've been on a streak of like good spotted bass. He's a four pounder, easy. He's got a little messed up mouth and his tail's kind of messed up, but look how weird it's angled. That last little tip was over 20. So we got another, we got a 20 inch fish. Oh, you big old brute. You're gonna help me out today. Boom, I got three fish in there. I just moved up to first place. <laughs> a 20, an 18 and a half, and a 16.25, which I actually have a 16 and a half I could replace it with. But at this rate, I'm expecting to replace that 16.25 with another 18 or so. I'd love to get big bass. Now that I'm already, I got a good limit, 54.75. That's, that's a really good limit. Um, if I could get big bass, that would be awesome too. But somebody's got a, at least a 21 inch. I haven't seen anything else bigger yet. I could easily do it today. I think I'm gonna make it without getting out of my kayak. My plan from the start was there's like a shoal right here where it's pretty shallow and it kind of divides a couple sections. And up above it, there's there's an area where I've always caught fish when I've kayaked down through here. And it's like a deep hole up there. And if the fishing was bad or rough, I'm like, I was pretty confident I could go up there and um, catch at least a limit or get a couple of good ones, 16, 17s. Um, fishing's been awesome. But I still got time, so I'm still gonna go up that way. And then I will leave early enough to spend plenty of time floating back through as I go back downstream when it gets later in the, here, here maybe in a couple hours. Take my time fishing down through there because I know there's still big fish down that way. And I'll float down through there, but I'm gonna stop here for just a second. I'm gonna go ahead and drop anchor here in the shallow spot. I'm gonna set up here and uh, get some snacks, eat something. Just think about what I gotta do, make sure I got everything organized, think about what lures I wanna use and don't really need to change up much. They've been hitting about everything, but um, still stay with top water, may change up just some uh, chatterbait. 
I might try that. Um, maybe a swim bait with a little underspin or something like that. Just something, just to maybe pull out one of those bigger ones, but we're, uh, we can relax. Like, I don't know for sure we're winning, but I mean, we're in first place. I don't know if we're gonna win or not, but I got a good limit and nothing to be mad about there. So anything over 16 and a half is a bonus. And just, this already been an awesome day of fishing. This was right at 10 o'clock, which was halfway through the tournament. The tournament ended at 2 o'clock, so this was, you know, close to halfway through. Four hours in, I had four hours more to fish. I stopped here, got something to eat, and I'm really not going to show the rest of this video because the, the next four hours, I probably caught six fish, but they were all 12 to 14 inches. And all the good fish that I caught have already been caught today, and this has already been... A really good day so I'm gonna end it and we're gonna skip to the next part which the meetup which is at uh, Frontier Outdoors in uh, Kingston so we go there to have the meetup met up with some of the other anglers looked around the shop and then we find out who the winner is and do the giveaways and um, find out who's gonna take home that first place trophy I was sitting with 55 inches I was pretty confident but there was a couple guys that made a run at it here at the very end <laughs> Simple young bigger adventure. Did you catch them on the spinning rod again? Uh, a couple of them. <laughs> <laughs> the bus bag was on a casting rod. Oh, on a what cream sickle young banger? I don't believe that he caught one on a buzz bait. I really just don't. I think it was all on the cream sickle young. Day. This video is going to tell whether John's lying or not. Yeah, got it. It was close. <laughs> Matt over there. Yeah, he made a comeback. He he waited to the end to upload, and he he ended up catching the biggest bass, and um, almost came back. I thought he was going to come back and beat me, um, but I was able to hold on, get that championship. Get that trophy, yeah. second one of the year. Anyways, everybody, thanks for watching. And uh, I'll link their channels because they're gonna put videos up of the tournament day and everything, right? Yep. Oh, yeah. oh and you caught a big old striver. I did catch I'll, like I gotta go see that, so he, yeah, big old striver, I wanna go see what happens. So anyways, thanks for watching, appreciate it. And um, we'll, we'll see say something later. Uh, say, see you later. See you uh, See you. Oh, oh, so I got another tournament. Me and Josh both are gonna be in. Hey, Daniel. Uh, next weekend, or this coming weekend, so yeah. uh, in seven days we'll be fishing again on Chickamauga. It's Tennessee a two-day tournament, and that's a state tournament. There's going to be a hundred and something people. A lot of people. Probably the biggest tournament I've ever fished in. So I'm excited about that. I haven't done any pre-fishing. Hopefully the fish are where I think they are. <laughs> and hopefully I can just catch something. But anyways, I'm more. Okay. 44 anglers signed up right now. Already 44? Yeah. Oh, well. Yeah. Dang. Yeah. I always wait till the end, but. I do too. I, 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 it's going to be a bunch. It's going to be fun. So anyways, more kayak tournament stuff coming up. And thanks for watching.